All right. God, it's freaking bright out. It's been a minute since I've vlogged. I got injured, if you didn't know, tore my ACL and meniscus. Had surgery in February. Um, I don't get cleared till November, so it's gonna be a fat minute. I'm trying to start up vlogs. Hopefully I can start doing maybe once every two weeks. It's kind of hard to film stuff because I don't really do much. When I'm in Indiana, I like to post all those camera roll dumps. Yeah, for this video, I'm gonna show what we've been doing to the backyard setup or what I did to build the backyard setup. I've had a lot of questions on how we did that, but um, me and my dad built it last summer. <laughs> I didn't get to use this one as much. We went straight to hood or after building it, and then I hurt my shoulder, and then I came back and went to school, but I do have some clips on this one. Uh, the backyard setup contest with line is gonna be out. I'm gonna help judge and follow rail skiing in my main to keep up with all that. Yeah, so let's get into it. Here's some things we did to build this. So let's start it off. A lot of questions I get about the setup is how much did it cost for all the wood? Uh, before COVID, it was probably 600 bucks to get all the wood, stairs and everything. Rails were probably about 100 or about 80 to 100 dollars each with PVC and buying all the wood. The M snow, I think it's like for 250 to 350. I don't remember. This is a large box though. I had to space them out because I didn't have enough, but I mean it still works just fine. I didn't need all of that. When we were building it, we had to like we had to pick out which angle I wanted for the ramp. We um, put a big wall up, and then we tied a string, and then just shaped it like that. I had set up before this one, but it was really small. It's probably like four or five feet tall. I think this one's like seven or eight. Um, the one before was kind of just like flat off, so I couldn't do any spins on. So we wanted to double up, and I could do like fours on with this one. I can even flip off this one. Kind of hurts, but it works. It's about. I think it's eight feet tall and about four feet wide. It's got support all around. Um, we started off building it by building these four, this nice square. We started building with the square. Then we added, I don't know, I don't know if it's eight feet, it might be seven feet tall. We did that and then we, we started building the platform. That's what we built off of. Right after that, we started building down the angle we wanted. And we added the side walls and we added this. Then we slapped the M snow on top. And then that's when we started building off the stairs. A lot of people have questions about the M snow. I honestly like M snow. You don't have to water it that much. All you have to do is just wax your skis and you go a lot faster. Um, before I've used turf. Turf's not bad. It's got good grip and everything. It just takes a lot of water and soap and it's a lot slower. This stuff gets you flying. Let's pull this one out. But this one I unscrewed at the bottom so that I can make it like a down or up rail. Or with all my rails. We started off by building the platform. So that's the platform. We just took a two by four and then we screwed them into that. Eventually we screwed the, the PVC into it. And then once this PVC was screwed into it, we started building the legs. And you gotta make sure that they're really sturdy. I mean, we've tried like several different ways. Yeah, all of them are built the same. The other one that broke is different. So we did this and we put something down there or like a little two by four in between both of the legs and we put this one up, right? So when they're flat, they like to flip. So yeah, and then I took the other leg off so I can make it an up or down rail. But this rail is the same as this rail so that I can like connect them. And then this one's fatter and this one's probably two inches shorter than this one. And then this one's the tallest got like an inch on all of them i can make like quad king z's like anything out of them i also like if I want my rails taller i'll put like bricks or any of that stuff under them so i can change how high they are if i, I can change it to an up rail or a down rail all right so line is hosting a backyard setup contest um you can start posting now it's you have to post a two minute long video your deadline is august 31st line ski team will choose the winners and you can end up winning a pair of skis boots gopro yeah go enter uh link is in description to go check out the rules and uh submit your video i'm gonna show some clips of uh of this one and then i'll show some clips of my old one or if you want to take any screenshots of the setup to like match mine i'm gonna take a lot of videos and pictures and go ahead and take some
thank you for watching the vlog. Keep up with the, the contest and follow rail skiing and J.Carster on Instagram. Hopefully more vlogs coming soon. See ya. Make it a bit.